most respect around this round at 15 in NPL Victoria as I do welcome Brandon. Two teams that are in pretty good form. Uh, Oakley did not lose a game in May and Hume City haven't lost since early May. Nick Hegarty, this is the 11 he's going with for Hume City. It's going to be Michael Weir in goal. Paul Wilson, Harry Monaghan, the captain, James Brown, George Howard, Stephen Hewitt, Mark Ochieng, and only his second appearance since coming across the Hume City. Uh, Matthew Lazaridis, Hayden Tennant, Gideon Sweet, and Ben Bowler, the starting lineup for Hume City. Yeah, again, some really strong lineups there, and I think that for Hume, there's obviously a few boys coming back into that side, and the interesting one, of course, no Mitch Cooper today, which is a bit of a loss for them, and James Brown's been a really strong performer for them as well, so he'll be in there today, and I'll be hoping he can get some goals for him. And a couple of balls that have gone forward for Oakley, just holding up in what might be a bit of a breeze here, so... They'll be dealing with that throughout this first half. Will, the Cannons, has guessed, sends a nice ball out to Decker. Gets a look at a shot. We're with the save. It's going to fall to Fashini. Slipped as he tried to get his left foot shot. And Hume City do win it back. It's Bowler. First enterprising run of the day. The long-range shot doesn't really test on us in the end. Yeah, disappointing to see, but again, they got a good result um, again against Altona last night with a late winner. Great shot by Decker. And this is Monaghan who wants to go back to Weir. Yeah, again, good pressing play there from Oakley. They're looking to try and win that ball back higher up the ground, and you see a good chance now. Good tackle in the end by Tennant. Guess not allowed to get his shot away. So pretty good football here, 17 minutes in, despite the slippery conditions. All we're waiting for is a goal, a long-range shot. Pavlou at the fall for Oakley. Decker has two men in the area. It's allowed to fall through to Guest. And now white shot, we're again. Now Chang's ball in. Two Cannons defenders at the landing spot. Still a chance though for Hume if they can just find a way through here. Monaghan's ball was nice for Brown. The cross did get a bit of a deflection on the way in. And then the shots just falls wide. Deflected cross in for Ochiang. And there is a penalty for Hume City as James Brown goes down. It is Stephen Hewitt versus John Honos. Yeah. Left post, and he finds it back at the net, and Hume City leads. Really well taken penalty there by Hewitt. He's done really well. That was a good, strong penalty, and Honos has gone the right way as well. He, he picked the right side, but they're starting to open up Oakley and create some chances, and that time there, they were really effective in getting from their, final, uh, their defensive third into the final third. Sweet ball in for Howard. Falls to Hewitt. The man who scored the penalty, that's going to spray well over the crossbar. To Michael Weir here. Now Brown finds himself onside. Gets the cross in. In terms of breaking the lines and getting forward, but just the final ball there again, a little bit shallow with the delivery. That time it was blocked. I'd like to see his final ball be a little bit crisper when he's trying to get into those advanced areas. Matthews looking to create something on the right here. The ball is coming in. Dangerous ball in the end. Guess with the shot and the equaliser. Yeah, well, finally we've seen Oakley really break themselves forward into an attacking area. And Tom Matthews, great overloading run. He wasn't really able to do that in the first half. Quickly taken out wide to the left here for Brown. Another call for handball, goes ignored. James Brown has had a wonderful season. Sends the ball in toward the central area and not a bad ball in the end. It doesn't... It's going to send the long ball in here. Just overhead of Harry White. Fashini trying to launch the long shot. Hewitt was there. This is a dangerous situation here for Oakley is Brown, now Howard. James Brown, bit of space, could go take the shots. Deflected on the way through. 
Ball coming in from Govan here. Decker was waiting out the back. Still a chance for Oakley to shot from Fashini. Set up a counter, but just bounced away from Howard that time. Matthews, that's an interesting first touch. And, well, Hume still in trouble here. Almost deflected out to Guest. Fashini, great save by Michael Weir. If the pitches are dried up a little bit as well, Brandon. It's a fairly dry evening now here at Jack Edwards Reserve as we see Hewitt and Ochiang. It's going to be Hewitt. Gets it over to Wall. Straight into the lap. It's going to be Paul Wilson. Mark Ellis again has Sweet to his left. He'll go that way now. Gideon Sweet. First touch cross. Safely cleared away by Govan Ochiang. The long range shot. Less than a minute away from reaching the 90. First touch of the evening for Zoric. It's going to fall across here for Fashini. At the corner of the area, gets the shot away, but it's well over the crossbar. Play continues. Zoric. His ball forward amounts to nothing. And that's it. An entertaining 1-1 draw at Jack Edwards Reserve.